we are going to see the practice set 2.2 which is based on the properties of the alternate angles corresponding angles and interior angle so let's start the example number 1 practice set 2.2 first example they have said that choose the correct alternatives and alternatives means here they have given the four options among these we have to choose the correct answers but first we have to solve it here no need to uh, give the explanation but i will show you what is the explanation how to solve it and what will be the value of x they told you to find out the value of x here four options are given these are options are of x so which is the correct option that we have to tell so here what is given in the figure if you observe it carefully line m and line n is a parallel and here p is a transversal because of this you know you get the pairs of corresponding angles alternate angles and interior angles but here whichever the angles are given 3x and x what is the relation of these two angles these are the pairs of interior angles and if the they are interior angles then we know the property interior angles are supplementary so to solve it solution 3x plus x is equal to 180 degree why because these are the pairs of interior angles they are supplementary these are the pairs of interior angles and the, we know the property their addition comes 180 degree we will solve it now 3x here nothing is there that means 1 3 plus 1 it would be 4x is equal to 180 degree now 4x it's in multiplication if you transfer 4 on this side so we will get here only x will left and here 180 and this 4 will come on this side so it will be in the division so if you divide it we will get the answer 4 fours are 16, 4 fives are 25. So what is the x value? X value is 45. That means what is the answer? Answer is C. So answer is C option. That means x is equal to 45 degree. In this second example, again they said that line A is a parallel with line B, and this line, that means this line L, is transversal. again there if it is if two lines are parallel and it has a transversal we get the pairs of the corresponding angles alternate angles and interior angles they told you to find out here also value of x so what is the relation of a 4x and 2x for that we have to find out now see here if it is 2x so these angle these two you don't have the relation of 4x and 2x right now you won't get the relation but we know these uh sorry this 2x so this angle this angle and this angle these are the opposite angles vertically opposite angles if you can see the angles this angle and this angle such type of angles we call it vertically opposite angles and those vertically opposite angles measurement is always equal if it is 70 degree of course this is 70 degree now here it is given 2x so therefore this is also 2x now like a previous example now these two angles becomes the interior angles okay so here how to write these things now here they did not give you anything so here i will consider this it is nothing but y so what is the relation of y and 2x so 2x and y degree are vertically opposite angles so therefore y means nothing but 2x 2x degree so this y value we have got it is 2x degree now it this becomes the 2x degree now what is the relation of 4x and y so here 4x and y angles are interior angles pair of interior angles so what is the property of interior angles interior angles are supplementary therefore 
therefore they are supplementary if they are supplementary means their addition must be 180 degrees whose addition 4x and y so 4x plus y is equal to 180 degree but why we cannot add it these are not like pairs like terms but y's value we know it it is from 1 wow, what is the value of y y is nothing but 2x so i'll put it here y is nothing but 2x is equal to 180 degree now i can add it for 4x plus 2x it would be 6x is equal to 180 degree now 6x is equal to 180 degree 6 transfer it on this side so it will go in the division so 180 divided by 6 that will x is equal to so if you divide it then you will get the answer 30 degree so x value is 30 degree so which is the option d is the option so what is the answer answer is d option that means x is equal to 30 in the third example, see here, line P and Q are parallel. See, these two lines are parallel and here they said that line T and S, this is a line T and S are the transversal. So, line P and Q are the parallel and if you will consider these transversal, forget this transversal, another S transversal, forget it. So, we have to find out the relation of 40 degree and what is X degree? What is the relation of this? But we don't have any pair of, these are not any pair of our angles, corresponding angle, alternate angle, interior angle. So to find out the relation of this, so I'll take the help of the angle. If it is 40 degree, I'll consider this would be A degree. Because I know the relation of A and X. A and X are the corresponding angle. So first I will take here A. I will find out A and A and X would be congruent because they are corresponding angle so same way here for 70 degree and for y if i consider this is the transversal so 70 degree and y i don't have any pairs of angles so here also i will take help of a b angle because b and 70 degree would be equal and b is nothing but 70 then b and y's relation i know that those are the interior angles so in this way i'll find out the x and y's value so let's solve it. So first here A and X. What is the A and X relation? Angle A is congruent with angle X. What is the reason for this? Why A and X are congruent? Because those are corresponding angles. So they are congruent. I have taken the help of A and B letters. It is not given but to prove these or to find out some values we have to take the help of some letters. Now A and X is congruent. Now check the relation of 40 degree and A. 40 degree and angle A are, are linear pair of angles. They lie on this line and they make the complete straight angle. So these are the linear pair of angles and we know the property of a linear pair of angles is those are supplementary because see here they make the straight angle. So their addition would be 180 degrees. So are linear pair of angles. So what is the pair, property of a linear pair of angles? Those are supplementary. Supplementary means their addition 40 degree plus angle A is equal to 180 degree. Angle A, 40 degree transfer it on this side. So, 180 minus 40. So, 180 minus 40, answer comes 140 degree. So, angle A, we have got 140 degree. But what is A angle? A angle is nothing but X angle. Here I have said that X angle and A angles are equal. So, therefore, angle X is also 140 degree. So here we have got the value of x. Now we will find out the value of y. To get the value of y, same thing, angle B is congruent with angle, sorry, it is equal, equal to 70 degree. Why they are equal? Because they are again in this way, vertically opposite angles. So here, reason for this vertically 
opposite angles now if they are vertically opposite angles so we know the relation of y and b which type of those angles those angles are interior angle so angle y and angle b are interior angles when you find or when you understand which type of angle then you have to use the property of that angle what is interior angles interior angles are supplementary supplementary means their addition y angle plus b angle is equal to 180 degree so y and b angle b angle we have found that it is 70 degree so y plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degree transfer this 70 degree on that side so angle y is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree so we will get the angle y is equal to 110 so students in this way we have found the x value that is 140 degree and y's value 110 degree third example in this example here all lines are parallel with each other line l and m are the parallel when i'll consider line l and m then these would be the transversal and if i'll consider p and q are the parallel line then line l and line m would be the transversal so here you will get the pair of corresponding angles vertically also and horizontal also because both the lines these line l and m parallel and p and q are parallel and if the lines are parallel you can get the corresponding angles alternate angles interior angles so you can get it you can have the relations horizontal also and you can have the relations vertical also here we'll find out a first to get a so we'll consider these lines are parallel p and q and this is a transversal so in that a t and a their relation would be interior angles those angles are interior of each other so here we can get the a angle with the help of the property of an interior angle so solution so for these a interior angles i'm going to consider line p is parallel with line q and which transversal i'm going to consider line l is a transversal so line l is transversal and if it is parallel and if it is transversal so angle 80 sorry 80 degree plus angle a is equal to 180 degree. why did i use this property because these are the interior pair of angles that reason i will write here interior angles property so here angle a is equal to 180 degree 80 transfer it on that side so here we will get the answer 100 degree so angle a is equal to 100 degree so now we have to find out the angle c and d to get the angle c and d we don't have any relation of these with this here we have got the a's answer that is it is 100 what is the relation of this a and d so here i have to take help of one more angle so i will consider this is the y one now i know c 80 degree and y these are the interior alternate angles and interior alternate angles are always equal so 80 degree and y are equal now y is relation with the b i know it those are corresponding angle so whatever the y's value that would be the b's value again b's and c's relation what is there again they are corresponding angles of course they are congruent with each other consider here angle y is equal to 80 degree why they are 80 degree because they are alternate angle interior alternate angle either you write alternate angles or interior alternate angles that is also fine so angle y is equal to 80 degree i have got it now to consider the y relation of y and b i have to replace the i have to take the another parallel line to show the relation of y and b i have to consider line l and m parallel lines and q would be the transversal so here line l parallel with line m and what is the transversal i will consider line q 
is transversal. Therefore, angle Y is equal to angle B. And therefore, angle B is also 80 degree. What is why they are congruent? Why are they congruent? What is the relation of this? We know it. Those are the corresponding angles. So, property of corresponding angle. Here we have found A angle, here we have found a B angle. Now let's see the C angle. Now to get the C angle, again their relation B and C are the corresponding angles. So but the lines, parallel lines will change and transverse also will change. To consider or to show the relation of B and C, we have to consider line PQ and PQ are parallel with each other. So line P is parallel with line Q. And M is a transversal. So line M is transversal. Therefore angle B is congruent with angle C. Why? Because those are corresponding angles. And therefore angle C is also 80 degree. Because B's measurement is 80 degrees, so angle C is also 80 degree. So in this way, we have found angle A 100 degree, angle B 80 degree and angle C 80 degree. In fourth example, A, line A and line B are parallel with each other and line L is a transversal. So here, the measurements are given 105, X, Y and Z we have to find out. So here to get the x easily we will get the value of x. x value is nothing but 105 what is, and x. What is the relation of these two? These are the corresponding pairs of angles and corresponding angles are always congruent. So here solution line A is parallel with line B and line L is transversal. So, what is angle X? Angle X is not, nothing but angle 105. They are congruent. Why? Because property of corresponding angles. Students, if you want to revise the properties of the corresponding angles and the alternate angles and interior angles, please watch my previous videos. It will help you to revise the concepts of the or properties of the corresponding angles, alternate angles and interior angles. So here we have got the x value that is 105. Now check the relation of a y. x and y or even this 105 and this y. If you observe it, 105 and this y they are exterior alternate angles and exterior alternate angles are always congruent so here angle y is also is equal to 105 because property of exterior alternate angles now we will find out the value of z. So here if you try to find out the y's and z's relation or x relation, we don't get it. So here we will see the, we will take the relation of the linear pair of angles because they make the complete 180 degree angle. That means these are the linear pair of angles. So here angle z plus 105 is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because linear pair of angles are supplementary and if they are supplementary means their addition their sum is 180 degree so their sum to find out z value transfer this 105 on this side it's in addition if you transfer it on that side it will be in subtraction 
So 180 degree minus 105. If you minus it, we will get the answer 75 degree. So angle Z is equal to 75 degree. So in this way, we have found the X value that is 105 degree. Y's value 105 degree. Z angle, Z angle is 75 degree. Here in the fifth example, line P and Q are the parallel lines and here they, we have to find out the X value. But if you observe, this is the transversal when the line P and L is parallel. Same way, if line L and Q is parallel, then this is the transversal. Okay, intersecting lines. We have to find out the X value. How to get the X value? For that, here 40 is an X relation we don't know. Because this is not a half angle, x 40 degree and the x angle up to here only. They have the relation, those are the alternate angle. But we have to find out the full angle, that is the x angle, big angle. So here I will use the letters, I will take the help of a letter. Up to this angle, I will consider this is A. And here also 30 degrees and this angle, I have the relation. So for here, I will consider this is B. Now what is X angle? X angle it is nothing but A and B together. Means sum of the A and B's angle. Now it is easy to find me the value of X. Solution. Line. I will consider line P is parallel with line L. So if I will consider P is parallel with line L. Then 40 degree and A angle. It has a relation angle A is equal to 40 degree. Why angle A is equal to 40 degree? Because the property of a alternate angle. So property of property of alternate angle I have used here. What is the property of alternate angles? Alternate angles are always congruent. Congruent means their measurements are equal. Similarly, I will consider now line L and line Q is a parallel. So line L is parallel with line Q. So if I will consider line L is parallel with line Q, then 30 degree and B angle, they are also congruent. B is equal to congruent or is equal to 30 degree. Again here I have used the property of alternate angles. Now we have got the A's value, we have got the B's value but we want to find out the X value. What is X angle? X angle it is formed by the uh, A angle and B angle. If you observe the figure carefully. So angle X is the sum of, it is made by this A and B angle. So angle A plus angle B. Angle A's measurement I will get it here. Angle B I will get it here. So here 40 degree plus 30 degree is equal to 70 degree. So angle X is equal to 70 degree. So in this way we have found the angle X with the help of A and B. Students, I hope you have understood this practice set 2.2. Uh, just to revise the concepts of the corresponding angles, alternate angles and interior angles. Please watch my previous videos. It will make you perfect to use the properties, to understand the properties and how to use that properties. If you like the video, please share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.